This is my baritone voice. Largo factotum de la chita, largo. La 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 la. This is my tenor voice. J'ai perdu mon eridiso. A lot of people ask me, what is a baritenor? Is it a real category of voice? And I simply say, yes. <laughs> there are very few pure tenors and very few pure basses. Most of us are on the spectrum somewhere. And a lot of what a baritoner is, is someone who traverses between the two types of techniques of, of baritone and tenor singing. It's been around uh, for the beginning of the inception of opera. And up until the 1850s, right around then, everyone was uh, basically a, a melange of both the baritone and tenor. When uh, orchestras uh, were back in the Baroque period, they were much, much lower, so you had to have this baritonal quality. And uh, as, as, the, as the, the categories of voices started to change and orchestras became larger and larger, then there was this need for categorization of, of smaller and smaller voice categories. And that's basically when we started to split into baritone and tenor. The reason that I can sing both is that I started out as a baritone and it took me well over 10 years to develop my tenor range. And as you can hear in my speaking voice, I don't have a typical tenor light voice. Many of my tenor friends talk up here, but that's kind of hard for me to do. And usually when I speak, it's, it's much, much lower and people ask me if I'm a bass or a baritone. Depending on the day, sometimes I'm a contrabass. But uh, I had a professor who was one of these natural tenors that said, I think you could be a, I think you could be a tenor. And it's like, uh, have you heard my voice? I don't think this is what a tenor sounds like. And he said, uh, just work on it. And the first, first four years were nothing but cracking and frustration, and, and I just thought he was crazy. But then at 21, I realized that if I'm going to actually become this tenor that he thinks that I might become, I need to work on it for myself. So since the time I was 21 years old, I've worked only solely on my own voice. And uh, it, it's been quite a journey because the first decade, was nothing but rejection and failure. But I'm, I'm pretty persistent, so I kept it going. And then finally in my early 30s, that's when the tenor really started to blossom and, and change within my own, my own voice and my career. <laughs> my favorite thing to sing is grand opera. And you can actually see the lineage of, of opera going from gods to demigods to kings, to dukes, to real people in, in, in Verismo. But my, my sense is it's much more fun to have that, that mixture in between two different worlds of the, of the gods and the, and, and the people on, 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 the, on the earth. So that's, that's what I love to do. Time.